hello. <laughs> Today uh, we have a box and it has some special exciting things in it. Things that were supposed to be done or we were trying to have done about a year ago that I've had parts for for a very long time. But I haven't picked out this specific part. I haven't picked it up yet. And now finally, I am picking it up. For a hint, it is for the front of my car, so it is not axle things. This is before axle things went wrong. But this is going to be my next step. And now finally, we can get her done. I haven't even looked at these, and so we're going to open them up. Uh, the spoiler alert. Uh, these were already open, but we taped them again, so because she hasn't seen it, so we retaped. She hasn't actually seen them yet. Um, I'm hoping that Bentley can guess what they are. He's good at guessing. What do you think they are? What could they be? What is this? Hmm, nanny. Are you going to use his claws to open the box? Does it feel? What does it feel like? It feels like leaving. That's Bentley. Yeah. He's named after the car. Is he? Is that I... a good thing though? Does that reflect his personality? He's big and luxurious. Ooh, you a knife? It's a very rusty, dull knife. Get your tetanus shots, kids. Let's uh, open this bad boy up. Ta-da! It is. It's coil overs. Ta-da! Um, yeah. So these. Oh my god, they're heavy. What the heck, man? Um, support the weight. Weak. <laughs> <laughs> they're to support the weight of your car. Yes. Um. So these are some coil overs. We um have got. Just take one of these. Oh my god. I need to lift more. Um. So yeah, these guys. Are, we are helping develop a product, that is why we have these. They are not originally for Corollas, but we are going to make them into Corolla Boys. So most of my car, it's really, it's a TE72, but it's really close in a lot of aspects to the A86. And so essentially we are just making it even more like an 86. Uh, so we are going to put these guys in, and then we're going to be using... 86 uh, strut boys to um, attach using the spindle from the 86 guys. And uh, then I'll be using like 86 uh, calipers and rotors. And I also have new brake lines and a bunch of other brake parts. So I will be a very zoomy boy um, and maybe be able to stop. That's amazing. I know. <laughs> also, I just realized that the uh, my little brake line boops are gonna match these. <laughs> That's disgusting. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so these are beautiful. Right now I have T3 coilovers and I wanted to do better. So we have these lovely guys. Ding. Oh, it's your coilover wrenches. Coilover wrenches. Mm. Oh, there's, what is this? A missing nut. <laughs> Top sports. I love it. Ta-da. Is there anything else we're missing here? I'm just gonna check. Nope. I just thought maybe there'd be rears because normally they're sold as a set of four. Yeah, that's fine. But at the price we paid, I'm okay with that. And some metal shavings. Mm. Ooh, straight off the machine shop floor. Yeah. <laughs> These may be higher or lower quality than the T3 stuff we're putting, putting, Ooh. taking out. Look at all these metal shavings. Yeah, leave them in there. Um. So yeah, we got a uh, two two whole coilover boys. Um, they are about, I'd say, like a good two cats. Full if two I cats, had to okay. Quantify them? Definitely two full cats. So, out of curiosity, just out of curiosity, why would you want to get rid of your T3 stuff instead of and, and run a different, different coilover? So, the good thing about these guys um, is that they're like a newer style of coilover. So the uh, the height here can be adjusted without adjusting the preload of the spring, so you can do them separately, so you don't lower your car and have really aggressive, bumpy boys. Um, and then also on top here, it looks like we have a couple different ways to adjust, and they are camber plates. Um, so you got your softs and your hards, and I 
I think there's a couple other things which we will have to read about. It almost looks like there's a separate uh, bound and rebound adjustment for this guy. Or he might just be a lockout color, I'm not sure. But um, Anyway, exciting things. Uh, and we got some, got some Teflon boys here. That is a nice feature. Yeah, nice boy. And the ears feel very solid. <laughs> I don't know if coil leathers ever really come flimsy. I've never had a pair new. So, but these definitely are uh, Hardy Boys. Mysteries. Hardy Boy Mysteries. Yes. <laughs> these are going to be going in pretty soon, like ASAP. We need to do some uh, cutting and welding of things first, but uh, that is going to be done eventually. We have to see who we will do that for us, but hopefully soon. <laughs> garbage tell, tell you about the garbage yeah uh, it's 16 years old oh my god and I did the math I think it was driven on average about 2,000 kilometers a year 2,000 kilometers a year oh my god I think uh, I've put more mileage on it now than it's had in its entire life basically sweet yeah. um, and why did you buy this car what's it for uh, it's my daily driver, and I needed things, space to put stuff into, and I wanted it to have fun with. But then I have to replace head gaskets every ten thousand kilometers, apparently. Yeah. Like of every other, might. every other oil change, apparently. Oh, so yeah, if you yeah, also yeah. bought a vehicle that would be safer for you, so the next time. I no, I bought a vehicle that can hit a bigger truck. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I see, yeah. I see. <laughs> that. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. She lovely. for watching. Uh, I would like to thank my sponsors, which are Doyle Child of Remax of Duncan, and Liz of Bite Me Cookie Company, and also, newly, there is a Just Kitten, it's Haley, and she has, she does some art things, and she makes, her put, she puts her art on the clothes. One second, I'll show this off to you, lovely. She has a older Corolla wagon here with some crystals. Lovely. Um, so I will link her stuff on screen and down below. You should go check her out. She also does Twitch streaming sometimes with her art or playing video games. So definitely go and take a look at that. Uh, thanks so much for subscribing and watching and I'll see you next time.